Hey everybody, Stogie Farts here. By the way, that is usually how you can find me smoking a pipe like this. Because I'm so relaxed. Anyway, hold on, I've just, I just packed a, a bowl and in this pipe. This is my Giovanni pipe. And um, one of my favorite pipes, my Geo pipe. Get a lot of compliments on this. It's a good size poker. Um, John made it for me a long, long time ago. And now he's a big time pipe maker. Very famous pipe maker. So now if I want to get one of these, uh, it might cost me a little bit more money. But thank you, John. Uh, still one of my highest rated videos is the video I talk about the $3,000 Geo pipe. So hopefully that's bringing you a lot of uh, business. Today, I'm going to talk about <coughs> spitting tobacco out of your mouth. No, I'm going to talk about uh, lighters. And I'm going to share with you my three favorite lighters that I use for uh, smoking pipes. Now, When I'm indoors, I usually prefer matches, but lately, because I only smoke pipes outdoors and matches aren't always the greatest thing, uh, when, especially when you have a breeze, uh, lighters come in handy. So I'm going to share with you, in uh, the order of probably my preference, which lighters uh, have worked for me and uh, I recommend. Now. My first fancy lighter that I got that wasn't a piece of crap is a, a Zycar lighter. And I'll show you that in a second. That's this one right here. I'm a silver guy, so I like all my lighters to be silver. And. This is sort of a style off of a very well-known lighter called the Old Boy. Well, the Old Boys, I think they run you up, you know, 120, 100, 120, 150, something like that. They're really expensive lighters. Uh, this was one that I, I want to say I got this for about 50 bucks, and it's by Zycar. Zycar's a really good brand. They have a lifetime guarantee. Anything ever goes wrong, you just send it back to them. They send you out a new one or they fix it. Now, all these lighters are butane, by the way. I don't use any fluids. I don't want any uh, fluid taste when I'm lighting a pipe. So butane being uh, uh, essentially a gas, uh, liquid gas, um, it's a much cleaner fuel, lasts a long time, and uh, these are all butane. So the way this works is you just flip up the top and then there's a little flint wheel right there that you flick to the side. And you can see this has a downward sort of burn for pipes. And when you're done, you just put it on the top. Now, Sorry. This was my favorite lighter for a long time. The problem with this is over time, well, two things. One, it requires flint, which is, you know, not a big deal. Most lighters do. Uh, so you might have to eventually replace the flint. But the, the striking wheel over time uh, gets loose. And there was a time there where it just wouldn't light anything. And I thought I might have to, actually, you know what, I take it back. It wasn't the striking wheel. If you look at uh, this part right here, this is actually kind of loose. You can't see it on camera, but it's, it's kind of a, a loose and shaky. So what I had to do is I actually had to take the lighter apart, and I found out where to tighten it. And it's a big pain in the ass. Um, I don't have the right tools for it. I only did a half-ass job. Uh, it seemed to fix it, but it kind of knocked a few points off the lighter scale. So I still love this little guy. Um, I think it looks great. It has the downward 
uh, angle for pipes and uh, it's made by Zycar so the quality is really good. Next up though in, 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 in my preference what I like is the Zippo. Now this isn't a Zippo per se this is this was a Zippo that I took out the insert and inside is this Thunderbird. Thunderbird is a butane insert that fits inside of your Zippo casing. And Zippo does make pipe lighters, but they still use fluid. So if you want a butane answer and still use your Zippo, check out Thunderbird. I want to say this thing costs about 15 bucks. Um, the only problem I had with it, again, being flint, I've had to replace the flint when it wouldn't light. Either the wheel keeps on spinning or it gets stuck, and that's because the, uh, the flint needs uh, to be adjusted. But uh, the way it works, you just insert it into your Zippo, pop open the valve, and then you close it, and that's it. And then when you want to use it, just like a regular Zippo, it's got the uh, circle on there. It's uh, perfect for pipes. And that's it. Um, unlike a Zippo, though, the circle doesn't go all the way through. It's just on the front, nothing on the back. Um, I kind of would like it to be all the way through so you could put it down this way. But no big deal. You just turn it upside down. And it'll light just fine. So I, this is my second favorite lighter, mainly because I'm a Zippo fan and I like the, uh, the casing. Uh, you know, just a Zippo fan. But... Ah, okay. Drink break. Nectar of the gods, people. Um, favorite lighter right now of all time that I've owned, the Colibri Canot 2. If you just Google Colibri Canot, I think it's, uh, God, I can never remember spell it. I think it's C-A-U-N-A-U-G-H-T. And then two. This thing is reliable, butane, no battery, no flint. It works on a, I think it's a quartz technology, so it lights every time. It's got an, unlike most lighters, you know, like the, the first lighter I showed you, if you want to adjust the flame, there's a little notch on the bottom. And you got to, you know, take a little screwdriver or maybe even a tip of your pipe tool or something and tighten it. This, the knob is right on the side, right where your thumb would be. So it's very easy, while, even while you have it lit, to adjust the flame with your thumb. Uh, second of all, you can't really see not be able to see it, but there's a uh, fuel gauge window right there. So you never have to wonder if your lighter is almost out of fuel. You could just kind of shake it and look, and I can see I'm actually running low on fuel. Um, it's just barely, uh, the, it's just barely in there. You probably can't see it, but I like the fuel indicator. I like how it lights every single time, and it's made for pipes. You can see the pipe emblem on there, and it has that flame, which is perfect for lighting down. That's why I've been lighting it with this on uh, this entire video. Very reliable. Never, ever, ever had a problem with this. This thing costs, uh, I want to say it's about 50 bucks. It's not that much uh, as far as get for a reliable lighter. So that's it. I just want to share that with you guys. Uh, I get a lot of uh, people asking me what kind of lighters I use and what do I recommend. I recommend the Colibri Canot 2. Um, Google it, you'll find it. I think I got mine on eBay um, or Amazon. No, it was on Amazon. And that is all. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. I'm about to go in and watch my San Francisco Giants play. And uh, that's about it. Talk to you later.